Hey y'all, it's my goddess Chrissy, um, and I'm doing a reading today on Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods' relationship, like their little friendship that they got going on. Supposedly, they're talking again now. Okay, this is what I'm getting, y'all. The Kardashians right now are coming out with different storylines. If y'all go and Google it and put Jordan Woods and Kylie Jenner, you're going to see all these stories. One is going to pop up. They were seen out eating, but yet there's no pictures. I don't see no pictures of them at a restaurant, nothing like that. So how we know they were really out eating? That's the Kardashians, allegedly. Then we got another one that says, oh, they've been talking for a year. They've been friends. They've been reconciled, right? We don't even know if that's true, but I do believe that that's true. I believe they've been talking right after the incident happened. They never really stopped talking, right? Right. And then also, there's another, what was it? It was another one that said, oh, Chloe never really cared about um, Kylie not talking to Jordan anymore. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, yeah, for me, I'm like, yes, she did. But I don't even know if the whole story was true or if it was a publicity stunt. So that's going to be my first question right now. So let's get into it because I don't want this video to run too long. But let's see if we can get some information. All right. So let's see. Was it a publicity stunt? The whole situation with Tristan and Jordan Woods. Was that all for publicity? Like, was it a made up story? Let's see. Let's see. I feel like it was for publicity. I don't feel like this story was the truth. I feel like it was for publicity. Now, I don't know if it was a way for Jordan to go and do her own thing because it could have gone either way. Like, this could have happened with Jordan and everybody could have turned on her and looked at her as a homewrecker. But <coughs> instead, it worked to her favor. But I see that it was set up this way. So let me see if allegedly the Kardashians set her up. Did the Kardashian set up Jordan to have this story? Now, I don't feel like they set her up to have this story, but I feel like because she put herself in a position where this storyline could be created, they went along with it. Okay, they were like, let's see where this can go, because this will be a good storyline for our show. Now, if you guys recall, I don't know, those of you who do watch the Kardashian show, there was a time where not many of you guys were watching it. There wasn't much going on. So when there's not much going on, they have to create their own drama. But their own drama that they create has to make sense. Okay. And I also get that Chris felt like Kylie was too dependent on her friendship with Jordan. I feel like Chris felt like they were too close. Chris felt like Jordan was holding Kylie back. And it wasn't going to work with her just saying, you know, stop being friends with her or have some time apart or not invest so much time in each other. It wasn't going to work with Kylie because Kylie is the type of person. She's very loyal when it comes to our friendship especially with jordan i don't know what it is they must have some past life that they've had together but kylie really does love jordan okay so let's see here let me ask did kylie ever stop talking to jordan let me use these other cards I want to use these other cards because these other cards are like more lighthearted. And that's what I get from their friendship. It's just very simple and light. So let's see. Um, did Kylie ever really stop talking to Jordan? So 
they did spend some time where they didn't talk. There was some time where they didn't talk. <clears throat> I feel like it was a guy involved too with making sure that they did reconcile sooner. So there was some time where they didn't talk, y'all. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's go to our love oracle. What does Kylie think about the whole um, mess, that drama between Tristan and Jordan? What did Kylie think about it at the time? She did was open about how she felt like stressed out. Look at that, y'all. Opportunity. Opportunity. It's an opportunity for someone. That goes to show it was like a publicity stunt. Fine balance. Feeling alone. So she did not like that they were going with that storyline, but she was manipulated into thinking like this is the best route to go in order for the show to pick up numbers and to have more opportunities, okay? But she wasn't happy about it, but in a way she did betray Jordan. Mm -hmm. Okay, how does Kylie Jenner feel about Jordan Woods? How does Kylie Jenner feel about Jordan Woods? Sorry y'all, I don't have my light because I'm doing a short little video. Awaiting results. <sighs> Got the heart chakra, so she loves her. Um, one thing about Kylie, though, it seems like, you know, in a way, Jordan was her therapist. So Kylie has been dealing with a lot of depression, especially after her separation with uh, Travis. But they haven't been doing good for a, a while now. So I feel like since she was pregnant with her second child, they weren't doing so hot. Um, Kylie wants to be happy like Jordan is. And so she's hoping that with Jordan being her, um, in a way, her therapist friend, she can possibly have a foundation the way that Jordan has. So I'm not getting jealousy here. I'm getting, I really need you as a friend right now. Like we've reconnected for some time now where we check in with each other, but I like really need you right now. And so because I really need you right now, let's just let the public know that yes, we are still friends. And that way I could spend time with you anytime I want and not have to trip about it. But I feel like the Kardashian family didn't know that they were going to do that. And so, or she did let her family know. Let me see. Did Kylie let her momager know, Chris Jenner, that she needed to go and have a storyline because her and Jordan were going to let people know they were still friends. Yeah, it shows that she did not let them know. It caught them off guard. So now they had to go to the uh, TMZs and all of that and kind of back up their tracks and let people know what's going on. So all of these storylines, it's to basically make it seem like, you know, hey, this has always been happening. They've been friends talking for a minute. And they just went out. Chloe has no problem with it, blah, blah. Just to create another storyline. I think that Jordan does need to be careful because um, Kris Jenner, I feel allegedly, will try to make this another money opportunity by highlighting their relationship and how they're back being friends. And Chloe not having a problem with it because if she does have a problem with it, 
people will come back at her. The way they were backing up Jordan, they gonna come and defend Jordan. So let's see. How does how does Chloe feel about um, Kylie and oh, there's so many damn K names. How does Chloe feel about Kylie and Jordan being friends? She's not happy about it. She actually doesn't like the fact that people came out and defended Jordan so much. You know, she she felt like she should be seen as a homewrecker and a traitor. So even with that storyline that Chloe is okay with it, she's not. Okay, she's not okay with it. How does Kim feel about Kylie and Jordan? coming out as friends. Kim sees that Kylie needs a true friend right now. And so she feels like, she feels like her sister needs Jordan at this time. She's really, this is uh, Kylie's energy. Kylie is dealing with depression right now. You know, so she feels like she does need someone to talk to, someone that does understand her and has gone through um, not similar issues, but I'm getting like that can not relate, but just knows you so well that knows what to say and knows what to do in order to like make you feel better. And Kim knows that that Jordan is that for, for Kylie because they were friends for so long. All right, now let's look at it from Jordan's perspective, okay? Does Jordan feel like she was betrayed by the Kardashian Jenner family? Does Jordan feel like she was betrayed by the Kardashian Jenner family? She knew that it was all about money. She knew that it was all about money and capitalizing on that you know and she knows that the mother dearest you know the momager had a big part into that so she doesn't she doesn't have any um hard feelings for what happened because she's like i know what this was all about i know what this is all about all right let's see how does Jordan feel? You know what? I'm curious to see. Since Jordan knew that Kris Jenner was the mastermind behind it all. Let's see how she's like. She's a mother first that makes sure her kids' money is good. Generation after generation. So those numbers were low. She had to find a way to boost them up. And I was the scapegoat. All right, let's see. I want to see how Jordan feels about Chris Jenner. How does Jordan feel about Chris Jenner? Or how does she feel about Chris Jenner at that time when all of this was going on? How does Jordan feel about her? Let's see. He's still talking about... He's still talking about money. Is still talking about money. But it's saying that she felt like, damn, you know, where are your morals? Where are your values? Where are your boundaries? Like, change your focus. Not everything has to be about the next opportunity, even if somebody has to take, especially if somebody has to take the downfall. Like, 
it doesn't have to always be about this opportunities and she see look that's the kardashian children that's the jenner children it's like making sure opportunities continuously come their way okay so let me see how does jordan woods feel about kylie right now oh, we already saw how kylie feels about jordan let's see how jordan feels about kylie how does jordan feel about kylie Hold on, y'all. I need to see what this move is about. So, I feel like Jordan feels like Kylie should take a break from her family and just try to figure out what makes her happy. Because she, a lot of the decisions of the children is about, you know, what's best for the whole family. And Jordan is kind of like, well, take time to figure out what's best for you. What are you passionate about? What is something that you want to focus on? What is something that you love that has nothing to do with them? And just do that. She also feels that Kylie should be teaching other people on how to do certain things. Maybe it could be makeup tutorials or it could be how to be a businesswoman or, you know, Jordan feels like, Kylie is talented in so many ways and her family's holding her back. So she needs to separate for a minute from them and figure out what makes her happy. What is something that she wants to do? Because right now, because right now it, it just seems like she's so confused and she's not happy. Okay, so it's it it really isn't talking about let me see let me ask specifically about their friendship because when i asked how jordan feels about kylie it's more about kylie getting herself to i'm telling you like jordan is like kylie's therapist so let's see how does jordan woods feel about her relationship with kylie even with that teach too she felt like with kylie's family did in that moment to capitalize on the situation to the show on Kylie like it's all about the money for y'all you know all right how does Jordan Woods feel about the friendship with Kylie at this time all right she's like she has her guards up, guys. She's like, I love that we are friends, you know, that we're going hard again. It's not just I call you, check on you, you call me, check on me. But we're going, we're trying to get back into the way we were before. But she's also like, I'm not going to be manipulated. I'm not going to be put in same type of situations or I'm thrown into the fire or the lion's den. Like, one thing that's not going to happen is you guys are not going to control me on what you want me to do and how you want me to do it. It's not going to happen. So she's putting her foot down. Yeah, she's like, I've worked hard for the point that I've got into now. I've worked hard to get to the point where I don't need you guys. I'm doing my own thing. And I refuse to go back from that. She's like, I'm a star. I'm a star, and I don't really need this friendship. But if you want to be friends, that's fine. <laughs> okay, Jordan. Um, let me see her boyfriend. I, I forgot what her boyfriend's name is, but how does Jordan Wood's boyfriend feel about um, Jordan putting it out there or um, being really... Mm, I would say going into her relationship like hardcore with uh, Kylie. How does her, how does Jordan Lewis boyfriend feel about that? I feel like he is not a fan. 
Look at that. Change your focus. He is not down for it. He's like, I love you. He's like, I don't think so, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But I I don't I don't feel like he's for it. I feel like he's like I feel like he's like everybody deserves a second chance, but I don't trust those people. And you know, even with this here, even though it has the branches, that apple it looks kind of old. Like it's dying, it's rotten. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like you can't change a rotten apple into a healthy apple. So yeah, that's how he feels. He's not for it. Okay. So let's see. Oh my gosh, is that my thumb? Okay. Is um Holly going to make the same mistake that she made before by allowing her family to allegedly set Jordan up and take a fall for something? Let's see. No, we have the Five of Cups here. She learned her lesson. She's not going to do something like that because she ended up, you know, it's it's like working for money. Working for money. And it did not come in out. She had to take the brunt of being alone. Being alone. She feels really alone. Kylie is really going through stuff right now. And I also feel like after she had her second son, she um, is dealing with postpartum depression. And I think that's another thing where Jordan is like, you can teach people about that. You can show people that, hey, um, this is something that I dealt with. But it may not be in the, the age range that... Chris wants her to attract, like she wants her to bring in people who are, I would say, 14 years old to maybe like 25. And with Kylie talking about postpartum depression, that would probably be an audience of like 25 to 35. You know what I mean? So, again, it would be like Kylie, for example, would say, you know, this is something that I want to talk about so that women are aware um, that I have this issue too and, and this is what I'm struggling with but the family side may not be like well that's not beneficial towards the brand right now and then Jordan is coming in like do what you want to do take a break from what they want you to do and do what you want to do okay so what is the future of Jordan Woods and Kylie Jenner's friendship a card fell out, so I'm going to leave that to the side. A lot of fire cards. Okay, so it's going to continue. They really do have a spiritual connection. Um, they're one of those friends where they finish each other's sentences. So they really are a close, they do have a close bond. Um, their friendship has taken a transformation though. So it isn't the same like it used to be, but it's taken a transformation for the better because now Jordan doesn't feel like she's stuck in a box. She feels like she's her own woman. She's independent. She has her own thing going on separate from that family. So she isn't categorized just as Kylie Jenner's best friend but she's categorized as jordan woods so she wants to keep it that way but this friendship is going to continue to move forward yeah what is the bonus card look at that movement <laughs> movement forward yeah they're gonna continue to be friends okay let's see What are some of the things that um, 
Kylie and Jenner, can Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods can do to maintain a healthy friendship? Oh, get their nails done together, get their hair done together. That's cute. Oh, dream journal, okay. Go out in nature, go out hiking, go out spend time outdoors. Make sure they get a good night's rest. Maybe like go camping. That would be fun. Go camping go or go glamping with that beauty ritual there. It talks about spending more time outdoors. If they spend more time outdoors, that's a healthy like uh, thing that they could have with each other. To just make sure their friendship takes, stays vibrant and... Um, just high vibrational, good vibes. Yeah, outdoor activities for them will boost their friendship. Okay. Can y'all imagine like Kylie hiking? Let me see. Let me see. What are three benefits of this friendship? What are three benefits of this friendship? Three benefits. Success to successful women. Money. So they can capitalize on this friendship. And it talks about opportunities. Look at that. Money, opportunities, and success. Okay. Somebody will be getting pregnant. Not pregnant. Ooh, I said pregnant. All right. Maybe uh, Jordan Woods is going to get married soon. And I believe she's going to want Kylie as her bridesmaid. I don't, I don't believe she's going to be the maid of honor. I think uh, um, Jordan Woods' sister is going to be her maid of honor. But... Um, Jordan is getting married, and so she does want Kylie at her wedding. And that's another reason why they brought um, this information out for you guys to know that they're friends again. Okay? So, yeah. All right. That's the end of the reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys can know when I have my next video because I am posting... Mm, anywhere from about two to three times a week so you don't want to miss out all right see you guys so my goddess christy bye